Hello everyone, I hope you're all well today. All the usual stuff out of the way first. Thank you very much for tuning in. As always, it really is appreciated. If it's the first time watching our channel or you're a regular viewer, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It's interactions like that that help this channel stay well up in the YouTube rankings. And just as, if not more importantly, it's customers, not just visitors to our website, our Optics Weekend or asking for further advice over the phone that help this channel can continue and I can keep coming up with new products. And that's what we're looking at today. Not a new product, but something I'm re reviewing for the first time. Now, last night, I got some absolutely amazing views of the moon using this telescope. And it is a Celestron LT60, the LT Astromaster 60mm refractor. I'll just change the angle a bit. There we go, side view. And it was, it was a part cloud part cloudy night last night so it just a few gaps in the clouds where I was able to have, have a look at the moon and Jupiter yes I know I keep go banging on about how much more there is to look at but last night I was restricted you know literally just 10 seconds of each uh, at, at a time and I was astonished at the clarity of this the view you got of the moon and especially using the 10 millimeter eyepiece which gives 70 magnification so the eyepieces you get with this are 35 times and 70 times which is plenty you don't you don't and I think this telescope and the tripod could handle more than that but the, the, for looking at lunar detail and I turned to Jupiter and yes that there was abundant chromatic aberration let's be honest but the the cloud belts were absolutely pin sharp and as were the, the four brightest satellites of, of Jupiter. Absolutely, I was, I was blown away with how clear this image is. And it is actually a 700mm F12. Now anybody that will tell you that does astronomy quite a lot, excuse me, change that round, something like F10, F12, is, is perfect for planetary observations or, or, or lunar you know let's not get too carried away with the planetary observations with such a small telescope M maybe something like the Astro Master 90 if, you, if you're serious uh, about a, a Celestron Astro Master refractor but I, th I think it was actually a night of good scene because there's hardly any of that rippling effect you get with the unsteady atmosphere it was, it was crystal clear the the craters, the craters within craters, seeing the shadows within them, the mountain ranges, the valleys, all well within the reach of this telescope. And at, at the time of this video, <coughs> excuse me, as a retail price of around about £129. But that price will vary. It comes with a, a red dot finder scope. Uh, the, uh, the AZ mount you get with this it comes with, as you can see, an accessory tray. It's not quite as sturdy as some of the Astro Master mounts that you get with the the 130 Newtonian and the larger refractors. And there is a little bit of yeah, I, I can twist. You see that? So it's not as sturdy as some of the more high-end Astro Masters, but I found it very, very easy and smooth to operate. So you just twist that angle, handle to slacken off the up and down and you have a little screw there so you can uh, adjust the tension of the, of the left and right movement but very very easy to use uh, so easy to use you probably don't even have to open the instruction book it just all slots in the pla into place uh, no no tools needed uh, the, to keep cost down, it does come with a very basic uh, plastic bodied um, diagonal, which is a 90 degree mirror. So it gives an upright image, but the image is left to right opposite. And I've currently got the 10mm eyepiece. Focusing, very, very easy, very smooth. And uh, just going back to the mount, I would imagine if you did want to adapt this to put an SLR camera on for some prime focus photography, uh, 
yeah, th th there is going to be probably an issue with stability. But uh, as long as you use a self timer or a remote release, uh, I would say there'll be no problem. But uh, yeah, com compared to the heavier ast heavier Astro Master mounts that you get, I'd say with the Astro Master One Thirty Newtonian, um, yeah, the, the the leg section, I mean, uh, not not the AZ mount. Yeah, th th there is that little bit of give. So yeah, it's it's a, a cracking little telescope. This. Um, yeah, I've mentioned the Moon and Jupiter, but yeah, I, I would imagine this will be fantastic on double stars. And using that 35 millimeter, 35 times the 20 millimeter eyepiece, both of which are modified acromatics, by the way, so they are budget. They're they're, they're, they're okay to get you started. You know, there are some horrific uh, eyepieces that you get as standard with with some scopes. Uh, the Celestron Power Seeker four millimeter eyepiece, for example. But yeah, it, it'll be a very good double star splitter. This um, idea and get away from the street lights. Ideal for looking at the, the brighter star clusters, Richfield star clusters, such as the Pleiades, the double cluster in Perseus, and that uh, there are uh, at this time of year, a rig of the charity is coming up in Gemini. Plenty of cluster, open clusters in them to look at, as well as objects like the Orion Nebula and and the brighter galaxies from a, a dark sky location. So oh, you've got a bit of a side light there coming in, excuse me, adjust it. But yeah, cracking little telescope. It only weighs, where are we? Around about just, just under six kilograms in total. So very, very lightweight and uh, I'm sure whether it's an adult or a child opening this at Christmas Day, they will be very, very happy and uh, have uh, many years of enjoyment. It, do, it does come with a dovetail mount, and so you can mount this telescope on another mount should you uh, wish to upgrade, or if you have a second smaller telescope that you want on to put onto this mount, you'll be able to do so. So if you, um, sh as a number of you already have done, you can support our channel by purchasing in the link in the description below we currently have them in stock and if they're not in stock but it only takes a day or two to get more in so thank you very much for watching i hope that helps and i shall see you next time